stocks our strategists feel are poised to deliver positive returns are featured now in their top stock picks of the week. We have one top stock pick for you this week. It is a specialty retailer with some value attached. And Ryan McQueenie is going to tell us more about it. It's Cons Incorporated, right? Yeah, so I actually feel like I've, I've probably brought a, a handful of specialty retailers over the past few months to the table, either um, on, on this segment or in my commentary on the site. Uh, I think over the past few months, over really over the past year or so, we've seen specialty retail emerge as one of these areas of the retail sector that has been able to figure things out. Yeah. Um, companies that have really figured out their own personal story and, and figured out what they want to do next here in this evolving retail sector. It, it's worked out for a lot of names and Cons is one that I, I'm optimistic about. Uh, for those that don't know, it's, it's home appliances, furniture, electronics, uh, mostly based in the southwest United States and along the east coast, North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee. Um, I, I think of it as like a Best Buy mm -hmm. with more of a, a neighborhood -y or rural feel to it, okay. uh, just to get people familiar with what the stores are actually selling, mm -hmm. uh, which is important as oh, an yeah. investor, definitely. Um, my case here is primarily a buy the post earnings sell-off case. So. Uh, last week, Cons reported earnings. The stock sold off, saw, sold off after the earnings report. I'm thinking that sell-off was overblown, and there's some some solid potential for a rebound here. A um, couple things to highlight from the report: uh, better than expected earnings results, quite a bit better than expected earnings results. Revenue uh, marginally higher than estimates. And it was the first quarter of same store sales growth for the company in three years, which really should be, to me, this monumental occasion for investors. We should be celebrating this, right? But yeah. it was actually a little bit lower than expectations. Management had guided from flat same store sales growth all the way up to 3%. So that slight uptick was a little bit disappointing. Um, and as we can see here from the price performance chart, this is a one month look. Uh, the stock was trending up into the report. That adds a little bit of pressure. Uh, you bring in momentum into an earnings announcement. Your expectations are a little bit higher. We can see the gap down following the report, and then shares have kind of just bounced up and down a little bit uh, over the, the last few days. Now, uh, the reason why I think uh, this is a buy, the sell-off, buy the dip type of stock is uh, the immediate aftermath of the report, we've seen positive earnings estimate revisions, which is exactly what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a Zach's rank number one strong buy right now. Um, and I think the key here is that we're seeing positive estimate revisions for the upcoming fiscal year. Uh, so looking into 2019, analysts that far ahead thinking times are going to be, the, the, the outlook is improving for cons. So that's definitely something I'm looking for there. Plus, while the same store sales growth might have been a little bit disappointing in this quarter, first growth in three years for the company, if they can continue to stack quarters together uh, where they're marking uh, same store sales growth, that's going to be something where investors will reward the stock eventually. Um, obviously, that three years of sluggishness there is, is disappointing, but if you look, take a step out and look at the last couple years of the stock performance, it's actually been quite impressive. Um, so yeah, I'm optimistic about cons, not just because of what the store is like and what they're doing over there, uh, but because I think with that post earning sell off, you're going to be able to get in a little bit of a discount right now. Do the other metrics on the stock add to that solid potential? Yeah, rebound? I, I definitely. I, I don't even think it was really uh, getting overvalued heading into the report. Uh, right now, we're looking at a PE of about 14.9, so almost 15. Uh, that's certainly well within a value investor's kind of ballpark there. Um, the PEG ratio hovering less than 0 0.7 right now. Right. Um, so you're seeing some bottom line expansion and you're getting a good price for that growth outlook. Okay, do you own it? I do not. All right, well, thanks for that. Don't forget, there is a ton more stock information on our website, zax.com. Get over to the homepage and start checking it all out. And also check out Ryan's podcast, Tech Talk Tuesdays. That's on the podcast page of zax.com. Don't forget his uh, Monday through Thursday live streaming television show on many different platforms that stream video. 
It's called free lunch. And uh, when you tune in, you'll see very quickly that, yeah, there can be a free lunch <laughs> if you're looking in the right place. With Ryan, I'm Terry Ruffalo.